Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 4 Golden. Um, we got the extra long intro episode last time and today we're just going to continue on forward. There's a lot of mechanics still that we have not learned about in this game. We've only just started. There's a lot more going on here than what you saw in that first episode. So, um, you know, going forward we're going to start to see even more new mechanics and start to get into the daily life. It's raining tonight. Something may appear on TV. You should go back to your room and check the TV. Watch TV in your room. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. Have we seen somebody wearing a kimono recently? The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? The image disappeared. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for tonight. Hmm, haven't seen this room in a while. This is... Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this! Obtained the Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this Velvet Room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Honestly, I don't get it. That is fine, for now. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero, empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. Special? The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your Persona's abilities. I still don't get it. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. 
Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> and if any of you viewers are confused, don't worry. It will become clear what he means about social links and personas and all of that. It will come, I promise. Till we meet again. Yo! You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Let's bring an end to this. Yeah, I agree. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. But who? Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like, as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. This is new. Thou art I, and I am Thou. Thou hast established a new bond, it brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Magician Arcana. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's the words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links. Is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? You have established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up a knockdown ally during battle. Your ally may help someone who is knocked down get back on their feet. Our first social link. These will be very important in this game. Achie! Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Y Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. You're right. That is where we saw somebody wearing a kimono. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. Emailed her? Different time, I suppose. This game is... old, <laughs> let's say. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. Everybody uses flip phones in this game. I... Calm down. We get the picture. 
And you still haven't heard from her? No! You summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good! Her voicemail picked up! She, she's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. She's there! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Well, that's a relief. Uh, uh, nah, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. Yeah, I'm not sure it was him. She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. You explained to Chie in detail, again, about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chie, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? I'm not sure this is a smart idea. You tried beckoning Teddy over. Something bit you. What's wrong? idiot dude is that a bite mark are you okay i think i'm gonna cry oh come on don't cry <laughs> sheesh that stupid bear must have done it hey you we know you're in there oh, oh is this a game no it's not a game can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so... barren. Shut it! So there's no one inside? You're sure? Uh, I'm not lying! My nose is running as good as ever! Hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. 
cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. You exchange cell numbers with Yosuke. All right, don't forget to watch tonight. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. Yeah, it's, uh, pretty weird. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. Hmm. So the lead suspects seem to have pretty decent alibis. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. Ouch. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? <laughs> Welcome home! Well... Hmm, this answer is hard. Nanako is absorbed in the quiz show. You should leave her alone. Still can't go outside. You should go back to your room and check the TV. It's raining through the night again. You should check the Midnight Channel tonight, too. Watch TV in your room. Okay, let's see what we can see tonight. It's raining tonight. Something appear on TV? So rain seems to be a necessary requirement for the Midnight Channel to show up. Good evening! Tonight, Whoa, that's Princess definitely Yukiko, Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm going to go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. 
And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom! I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! Yeah, not exactly the Yukiko we've met in the real world, is it? What's going on? That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Channel just now. Hey, did you see that? Oh, yes I did. That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Let's try to contact Yukiko. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ah, uh, crap, I don't know her number. Oh yeah, I can just call Chie. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decided to go to bed early tonight. Odd things are happening. It seems that only Nanako is here. Where's your father? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. She's a tough girl. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? You decided to go out. Sorry for the holder. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. We've Whoa, got our dude. personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. Um, that girl behind you is staring right at you, man. So, which one strikes your fancy? The katana. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. If the blade's fake, why do we need them? Kind of like this? Or like this? What about this? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Whoa. Yeah, not very smart. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean, no, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I don't think that's what he's worried about. I guess that's not what matters. Yeah. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. Yeah, <laughs> shut your mouth, Yosuke. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, but this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! <laughs> You were taken to the police station with Yosuke as suspects. Yeah, just drop them, Yosuke. Come on, man. Not bright. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere, for God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Uh -oh. Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Yeah, we didn't know this. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. 
but this better not happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Hey, Adachi. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Well, this doesn't sound good. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But, people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? She has looked pretty sad lately. Well, that announcer Miss Yamano was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? Yeah, it kind of would be tough to uh, have to work at the place where somebody who was murdered was staying. Not not knowing what happened and where it happened, etc. By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Are you, like, insinuating that Yukiko had something to do with it? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? <laughs> Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. I like Adachi. I like Dojima too. Both of them are very good characters. I'm a sucker for good characters. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... There you are! Jeez, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere! Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? Oh, what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Look, we need to save her. Right. That's the important thing. With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? But man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. You do? What? Come on, follow me. Look at this place. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? <laughs> oh, I right? get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. It's like a replica shop. But it might be too heavy. <laughs> I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. 
Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Oh, all right. Psh, we'll let I'll her come. Be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. But man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Received 5,000 yen from Yosuke. Hey, thanks, buddy. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Look at this guy. Old man Daidara. Have you come to see my art? Please look around, take your time. Okay. So, show info. If we show info, we can see what the, you know, what the gear, we can basically check our gear against what we have equipped. So this one, 42 to 53, not bad. Yosuke, what about you? 40 to 48. How about armor? 26 to 34. What about accessories? Let's see what we've got here. So the headband increases strength and the amulet increases endurance. I think what I want to do is upgrade my armor. So let's get chain mail for you. Do you want to equip? Yes. Do you want to sell the t-shirt that was previously equipped? Yes. I love that this game does that. Let's you just automatically sell your old equipment. And let's get one for Yosuke as well. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a headband that increases strength for you. We'll sell the wristwatch. And can we get anything else? We could get Yosuke a new weapon. I think between getting the strength and 40 to 48, hit percentage is 96. Yeah, let's go for it. All right, there we go. We've got some gear to go in with. There's a bizarre door before you. It seems the others can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Now, if you give me a moment of your time... Voice in your head. Sounds like Igor. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. Expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. 
You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. Interesting. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. Now, a lot of this doesn't make a lot of sense to new players right now, but it does become clear. You recall that you have the Magician social link with Yosuke. It seems that when a persona of the Magician Arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. And we'll get to see that in action as soon as we actually get some The tome some you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> huh, we've met you, unfriendly looking girl. Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. I mean, she doesn't really look that unfriendly. She just acts unfriendly most of the time. The girl seems unfriendly. <laughs> you feel that you've met her somewhere before. We have. Yeah, I've... Why are you here? Dunno. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay, then. Excuse her. This is Marie. And she is emo. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. All right, we've moved forward a little bit. We're gonna have to go and save Yukiko real soon, but I think that's where we're gonna end this episode. Now, in this game, a lot happens, but it happens over a long period of time. So I'm considering right now of starting to make the episodes for Persona 4 be closer to 40 minutes, whereas uh, my last series, the Final Fantasy VII, was 20 to 30 minutes. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that and if you like that idea. Um, in general, uh, the summer is going to be a lot better for me to record a longer series like this, so this works out pretty well. Um, during the actual year, um, I am a teacher and it is harder for me to actually record really, really long episodes. 
So I may not be doing this for all of my series, but I feel like this one we may go with 40 minute episodes. Um, going forward, I'll play around with that. I might try some 40 minute episodes, try some 20 to 30 minute episodes and see kind of where I can find a good middle ground and what kind of feels the best. But uh, especially with this episode, with the story progressing the way it is, I felt like this 40 minute episode works better. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope I'll see y'all next time. So have a good one.